Doubt is not the opposite of belief. Hi, my name is Angelo Kanta and this is my one minute reflection. I really like doubting Thomas and I think people often misunderstand his doubt. Think about the week he's just had. He saw the same crowd that welcomed Jesus with shouts of joy turn against him and call for his crucifixion. What's worse is that he turned his back on Jesus and left him in his hour of need. Imagine hearing that Jesus has risen from the dead. I think that Thomas's doubt is totally understandable. I also don't think that Thomas's doubt is sinful or backwards. He shows us that doubt is a step toward belief. He wants proof to know for himself that Jesus has risen from the dead. And when Jesus does appear to him, he does not roll his eyes. Jesus does not rebuke Thomas. Instead, he invites Thomas to do exactly what he needs to do to believe, to touch his wounds. Notice too, that he doesn't invite anybody else to touch his wounds. He gives Thomas exactly what he needs to move from doubt to belief. In our own lives, let us not be afraid to tell Jesus exactly what our doubts are. And after receiving what Jesus wants to give us, we can say with eyes and hearts opened, my Lord and my God.